Good Tuesday morning to you. Yesterday we looked at the humility of Jesus and what he expects of us as his children. And then we took a, another look this morning at the aspect of the heart of God comes from not just humility, but love. Jesus teaches that Christ-like service comes from genuine love for him. The role model that Jesus has given to us as love from the cross to the grave, to the resurrection, and to the eternal welcoming us into his kingdom is his love. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'm always there for you. See, the genuine love for him and for the people that he gives to us, he gives us people. He created other people for us to love. And sometimes, folks, people are hard to love. He says also, he says, my command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Learn to love other people as I have loved you. Now, I want you to stop and think with me this morning. How does God love you? He listens to your prayers. He offers you strength and guidance and hope and direction, forgiveness and eternal security. I mean, that is deep love. And he expects us to love others as he has shown us love. That's hard. Like I said last week, people can people you out. They can wear you out. Their needs are so great. And I want you to be aware, so please listen to what I'm going to tell you. There's never enough of human resources to meet all of human need. There's never enough of human resources to meet all of human need. Because human need is predicated upon the assurance and the eternal forgiveness of Jesus Christ. God is the only person that can remedy the needs of all humanity. He says, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Also listen to this. He goes on to say in this verse, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. This is from John 15. 12 through 13. Learn to love others as I have loved you. Learn to speak to others as I speak to you. Learn to relate to others as I relate to you. Learn to forgive others as I forgive you. The challenge of God from the heart and the mind of God comes from the soul of the Father. It is the Father's will that Jesus sought to serve and to be. His Father is his role model. His Father said from heaven, This is my beloved Son in whom I am so pleased. Listen to him. Let us listen to him today and find the capacity to love not just others, but learn to love yourself in that capacity. The greatest commandment, you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, strength. And to love others as yourself. Which means this, you cannot love another person more than you actually have a love and respect for yourself. You find people who do not respect others, they have no respect for themselves. You find individuals who have the lack of capacity for empathy and love for someone else, they can't love themselves. You see, we can only give away what we possess. We can only give to others what's in our tank. And that is the great commandment that God gives. Pray with me. Father, grant us your wisdom, your love, and your care. May we learn to love others as you have loved us. Amen.
See you tomorrow morning on Wednesday.